This is a pretty easy demo for the most part. Uh, it's mainly cosmetic. There's no structure changes at all. Uh, all I'm simply going to do is uh, modify some of the cabinetry and then build some additional cabinetry. So the, the demo is very, very minimum and I have very little work involved here. I have no electrical work to do. I've got a little bit of plumbing work we'll talk about here in a minute. But for the most part, it's just trim, which is probably my favorite thing to do. Now what you see me doing here is basically I need to remove all the baseboards. I'm going to put some wainscoting up all the way around this room. So I need to remove the baseboards so I can include that in the new um, wainscoting that's going to go in the wall. These are pine one by six, which is technically the width of 5.5 inches. Uh, it's good quality stuff. Pine, pine's a good trim. Uh, it's not as expensive as poplar and it's not as cheap as MDF. It's kind of in the middle and uh, it's not the hardest wood in the world, uh, but it doesn't chip. It doesn't swell up the moisture like MDF. Um, and I think it looks really, really good. It's technically, you know, wood. So it's still the same thing as poplar in my opinion. It's what I always use to be honest with you. It's easy to work with. So what I'm doing here is I removed most of the baseboards. I'm cutting the nails off or bending the nails off of the boards. That way I can, like I said earlier, I can reuse these boards. I also have to peel the caulk off. Um, and you saw me earlier with the utility knife. I score the drywall and the, uh, right above the trim work for the fact that I don't want to tear my drywall. It's a lot of work when you start tearing drywall. Uh, I don't want to be involved with too much mud work on the, on the walls if I don't have to. So here's my sink. Um, don't like the location of the sink and I forgot about how we plumbed this but uh, originally the sink was supposed to be in the corner we made that change and kicked it to the left there um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and change it now and put it in a different location just for the fact that these pipes uh, the drainage pipe and the water pipes are in the corner which gives me the ability to better put the sink in a different location what I have to do right now is I want to remove this countertop. I'm going to keep the cabinetry down below. So I'm basically disconnecting the water and the drain from the sink. It's funny when I started uh, taking the sink apart, I noticed that the adhesive I used to keep the sink to the countertop uh, obviously didn't work. And uh, my wife and my daughter who seemed to be doing the laundry all the time uh, failed to notify me that the sink was loose. Not a big deal. It's not like it was leaking or anything. And honestly, we barely even used the sink. But for the most part, um, I was kind of shocked that it didn't stick. I think I used liquid nails on it. Sometimes I use silicone, which is probably the best thing for it. But I used liquid nails because if I remember right, I, uh, that's all I had at the time. You can see how easily it just popped off. Um, I'm not a big fan of plumbing. I've gotten better at it. I hate doing it, to be honest with you. Um, but I understand it. And uh, with PEX, um, things have gotten a lot easier. Uh, back in the day when you had copper and you had the sweat fittings and stuff like that, um, it was probably out of my uh, ballpark at the time. But with PEX, all you got to do is have the tools and the pieces, and it's uh, it's pretty much a you know do it yourself or type thing, especially a small move like this. So now the uh, fun begins. I have to take this countertop off. I really don't have a use for it at this point. It's Famica. It's a 3D Famica. It's pretty neat. It's got a textured top. Um, I'm going to try and save some of it. I know I could probably use it in the basement, uh, possibly. So I'm going to try and make sure I can use parts of it at least. Uh, this piece of metal I'm taking off. I never have a light. Uh, the countertop people required me to put that there since the span between the two cabinets was so, uh, so far. Uh, I needed to support the center a little bit more, so they installed that. And really, I didn't notice it much, but I just hated the idea that it was there. So I tried to lift this countertop up. It's pretty, pretty tight in there. I remember they pretty much formed it to the, the exact specs of the room, so I knew it was going to be tight getting out of there. I don't have an application where it's, I'm going to need an L. So I think the best solution here was just go ahead and use the saw and, and let's cut this thing in half, make it manageable. It is fairly heavy, so um, by cutting it in half, I'll cut down on some of that weight. Now you notice that I use DeWalt tools. Uh, pretty much all my tools are DeWalt's. Uh, I've got some tools from my dad that he gave me that aren't DeWalt. Uh, more corded tools, a couple battery tools. Um, I've got no preference of tools. I started with DeWalt a long time ago. I've got their batteries and uh, I've just kind of stuck with that platform. I think there's a lot of other good manufacturers out there like Milwaukee and Makita. 
Uh, but uh, DeWalt has always been good. It seems like my tools have always last and you're pretty much gonna only see me use DeWalt tools. So I got this countertop off. Everything came off pretty good. I didn't tear the drywall up too bad. And of course, when you disconnect the sink, you need to make sure you plug up that pipe. Uh, you don't want the sewer smell. And that pretty much wrapped up the demo. And not a whole lot to it. Pretty short video. The demo was easy and quick. It took me about two hours, three hours. I'm gonna clean up this room and then start planning for the next step, which is gonna be my design. We're gonna build a cabinet, do some wainscoting, uh, add some additional cabinetry to the bases, and it uh, should be a lot of fun. So if you like these videos, man, make sure you subscribe. I really need subscribers, and give me a like. That's very helpful for the channel. Uh, please share it with your friends and family. And once again, I appreciate you spending time with the Home Pro Hero.